Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy, and welcome to my gameplay of Super Luigi Galaxy. Alright, so I'm back in Florida. I basically, like, when I came back, I just, like, you know, just chilled around a bit, and I also did some more, um, edits. I'm still, I'm now almost finished, and, like, as I'm recording this video, I'm already, I'm almost finished with the, uh, Persona 3 gameplays. Like, right now, I just need to make the finale part, and then I'm basically good to go, and then I'll upload them on YouTube, and then I'm pretty much done with uploading the, uh, Persona 3 videos, and of course I have to work on the uh, Super Mario Galaxy parts, and then of course, the, well, only one Luigi part, like, so far and stuff. Uh, and, yeah, so that's what, what, what I'm doing right now. Anyway, today is May the 17th, so only a few days left until my birthday, which I'm really excited about. I'm turning 27 uh, this year, so really excited about that. Anyway, uh, oh, it's this one. Maybe I can do it while talking this time. Let's try it out. I remember I did this before. Remember in my, um... So my very, it's like a very, very early uh, gameplay. I think it was meet when I was talking about meet, meeting Hillary voters, I think. Yeah, it's that one. I remember I was, I did, I tried doing it and I lost and I had to like back up. But I think now I can do it while talking. I mean, as long as I don't like speed up or anything. So yeah, I think I can do it. Anyway, so what I'm making this game, I'm not gonna talk too much because right now it's uh, it's 6.25. I haven't contacted my uncle because I don't think I need to. It's gonna be very quick, very fast gameplay because uh, I'm just making this now because I want to just update you guys on what's going to happen considering that now I'm back in Florida. I'm basically gonna be, be here all throughout the summer. I'm gonna come back to Rhode Island uh, sometime in late August, so that's when I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. There we go. Oh, I think I should have said no instead of yes, so my bad. So, sorry, I just... Yeah, it's turn right. Hang on. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I should have said no. I apologize. I just thought, like, you know, maybe I have to say yes. Or two. Anyway, but yeah, we got it. Um, so anyway, uh, so I'm just gonna update you guys on what I'm going to do. Remember when I said that I was either gonna play Banjo-Kazooie or Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragons? I kind of... Figured, decided that I just realized that I want to also I need to also make um, Princess Evangel gameplays because now that I'm back at my uncle's well actually the thing is it's not just about my uncle's house but it's because since now I finished Persona 3 I'm now able to play uh, Princess Evangel because yeah because when I was doing making these gameplays I, I realized that the only way I could you know finish the the, the the games the gameplay series before returning to Florida was if I focus entirely on, on Persona 3 and basically not play Princess Evangel. So because of that now I'm able to play Princess Evangel but I kind of decided that I want to dedicate the majority of my time to playing and finishing Princess Evangel. And now what I mean by finish I mean basically finish the uh I, I forgot her name I, I hope I get it right is is, is that 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 old, you know the the girl. I think her name is Ayaka. Yeah, I think I want. I said I, basically her. It's that like very the, the you know that very flirty uh, girl you know and stuff. So not not Rise, not uh, not uh, Ch Chiho, but you know like you, you know what I'm talking about the very the fl flirtatious one that the one I kind of met at the uh, church. I think her name is Ayaka. I want to do her route and basically finish it uh, before I come back to Rhode Island. And in order to do that, that means I've got, I gotta dedicate all my time to it, and I wouldn't be able to, you know, do this, because I am, I am aware that Princess of Angel, the gameplay for the arc is a lot longer compared to, like, say, when I did the Lily arc back in playing Katawa Shoujo. So it's a lot longer than Katawa Shoujo in general, the arcs, so because of that, I'm gonna have to dedicate my entire time to it, so that basically means that I can't do it in a certain pattern where I play you know, Banjo Kazooie or Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. Like, I play, make some parts for this and then some parts for um, Princess Evangel. I want to focus mostly on Princess Evangel. So, in order to do that, I'm gonna have to not play any of these two games. So, I guess I, I'll leave. I'll play, you know, I'm not gonna bring play, play Banjo Kazooie because then I realize I have to bring the N64 system with me, not just the Wii system. I don't want to add that to my luggage. So, I'm just gonna probably play. Uh, Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragons, when I get back to Rhode Island, so, um... 
Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. So I apologize for some of you guys. I mean, what I'm gonna do, of course, I'm still gonna play, make uh, S, uh, what are they? Yeah, Super Louis. Yeah, SLG. I'll still, I'm gonna call them SLG parts from now on. I'm gonna still make SLG parts when I want to talk about certain topics like politics or something related to life or something, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. Just make SLG parts, but all in all, I'm just gonna focus entirely on make, doing, finishing the Princess of Angel art, because that's what I actually want to do now. I actually already completed, you know, I already completed, um, uh, Persona 3, which was one of my main goals of games to play when I moved to a new state. So now I want to finish the other game that I want to play and finish. It, you know, it's kind of weird though, because I remember I said Princess of Angel is going to be the game I'm going to play in the new state, and then it, then it basically I switched it to Persona 3, which is okay, because in reality I did play, technically played a Prince, like, Princess of Angel, like, in 2022, of course I played it here, but. Yeah. You know. Okay, yeah, I, oh yeah, it's not the uh, the boss battle, it's the uh, I, I forgot it's the other one, the one where you face the small, like, you know, regular guy. Mm, excuse me, sorry, uh, this nunchuck was... He's not responding. For the record, I don't know which one was my good remote, which one's my bad one, so I don't know if the one I have is the bad one. And if that's the case, then, uh... uh so I don't think it is, but it, it could it could be. I'm still gonna roll with it for now. A anyway, uh, so, yeah, so I'm gonna focus most of my time just checking the time. I have to keep on checking the time now, like, so that I could stop the gameplay before my uncle gets here. Um... So, yeah, so I'm gonna focus entirely on Princess of Angel, because honestly, it's a kind of game series that I want to focus on, and, like, I would say finish this year, so that's what I want to do, and, be, and for that to happen, I'm gonna have to focus entirely playing that game, game, play, uh, game series entirely, so basically I'm just gonna be playing SL, make SLG parts, and, uh, doing, um, Princess of Angel gameplays, and I'm honestly fine with that. Then of course, then once I finish the uh, Ayaka route, then I'll focus playing Legend of Spire Dawn of the Dragons, and then maybe I could bring my N64 system to Rhode Island and play uh, Banjo Kazooie for spring semester, that kind of thing, or some of some other game series. I don't know, but either way, anyway, I'm just wondering. Do I have to? I have to get the bee suit somewhere else, or uh, I don't know. Let me try exploring. That's what I have to do. Yeah. Uh, that's probably... I don't think it's up here, but... Not. No, it's not. Okay. He's in one of those rock things. It's broke me. Yeah. It's in this one. It's not here. So I think, you know, it's probably on the other side. Oh, sorry. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I apologize if maybe some of you guys don't want to see SLG parts, but like I said, I mainly do gameplays of games I feel like I want to play, and right now I, I just really want to focus on playing Princess Evangel, and, uh, I wouldn't be able to do that doing the traditional route of, like, playing, uh, different game series and, of course, you know, playing, uh, uh, the, uh, Legend of Spyro or Banjo-Kazooie, that kind of thing. I want to just focus entirely on, on, so honestly, I feel like I'm gonna have to, okay, maybe I'm not supposed to go there, it doesn't, yeah, you can't, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, guys, bear in mind, it's been, like, it's been a while, like, it's been years. Maybe I have to take out the piranhas? Yeah, it's been years since I've done this part, or, oh, quite a while, I would say, so... Okay, yeah, it is, it was one of these things, but it was, like, so early. My bad. Ah, uh, that's screw it. It's just one of those blocks. All right, we're back where we need to be. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, what else? So, yeah, so that's what's, what's happening. I guess one thing I maybe want to talk about is, tier, like, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now, here's the thing. 
I haven't played this game yet, because the reason why when I when I bought the game, I didn't have time to play or anything this weekend. I mean, technically I did, but I want to have, like, a lot of time playing this new game, you know? Like, I mean, like, more than an hour, more than two hours, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a uh, such a huge, monumental game that I want to play, and I want to have as much time as I need in playing it. So, because of that, I had to skip that weekend, because I had stuff to do. I had, I had like... Let's just say we had to ha we went to a dinner invitation to someone's to my uh, parents' friend's place, and um, also I had to celebrate my brother's graduation on Sunday. Unfortunately for him, he didn't do a graduation ceremony because uh, when that happened, my parents were on vacation. I also wasn't there, so uh, and he wasn't really that into it, so he kind of skipped the graduation ceremony. So he's basically just gonna get his degree by mail and without. So he's not gonna do the cap and gown thing. Quite a shame, really, because uh, he actually worked really hard for that degree, even harder than than like when I was working on political science. So I was expecting him to actually do the ceremony as like a big grand achievement, but oh well. I mean, it's his life, but I mean, honestly, like I mean, the thing is, though, he's gonna do medical school next, so maybe he'll do a gra like a graduation ceremony for that, I guess. Or if he doesn't want to do medical school, he could also do a uh, master's in business administration. Because honestly, I I'm being honest, I really don't feel like... He's only doing the medical school thing just because, like, he wants to have a successful, like, a job that would give him a lot of, like, profit and money. Kind of like what my parents do and stuff, but I was, I I was encouraging him just to, like, don't focus on that. Just do something that you love. But honestly, he said that he, he's fine with it, I guess. But I don't know. We'll see, he's still going, but to be fair, he's graduating with a degree in bio- in, uh, what is it? Like, biomedical engineering or something? Or bi- is it a bio- or- no, 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 not biomedical engineering, it's, it's a biomedical degree, basically, yeah. There could be engineering, but either way, it's a really, really fucking great degree. I mean, it's, it's not- it's, like, compared to my degree, like, like, it's like toilet paper compared to what he's earning, so honestly, like, you know, he chose good, you know, it's, it'll definitely, it's a STEM degree, basically, so he'll definitely, uh, get employment from that, you know. But like I said, he's still, he's going for graduate school, so, you know, uh, like I said, he could do, um, uh, do like, be a medical doctor, or if he doesn't like it, just do a, a master's degree in, uh, Masters in Business Administration, so that's that's something he could do, but either way, he has options, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so yeah, he, he earned his uh, biomedical degree, so, you know, good for him, you know, glad he did it, and, like, you know, hey, uh, I would say, like, really good job for, like, persevering, considering he said how hard it was, like, you know, like, geez, you know? Anyway, let's not move. Oh, yeah, I have to hit a switch, which is down here. Oh wait, oh fuck, I messed up. Oh fuck, I messed up. I thought it would be... Oh okay, no I didn't. I thought it would be like there was a walking place, but no. Either way, I, I, I'm i still in the game, so that's good. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, what else? So, um, yeah, so I had, to, I had to do that, I didn't, so I basically did not have time to play Tears of the Kingdom, so... I'm thinking of playing either Thursday or Friday, but yeah, it's definitely gonna happen this weekend. And I'm also gonna continue playing all throughout, like, you know, even on my birthday, so I'm really happy about that. I love how it came out on the day of my, on, the, on my birth month, I would say. And also, coincidentally, I would say it also came out on Etika's birthday, so and all in all, I think it's like a big tribute that a game like that was released, you know, on the day, on the day of his birth, so, you know, really good that happened, and it's quite unfortunate that you'd never play this game, or honestly, he is playing this game in the afterlife, so, you know, I would say good that this game kind of came out on that special day, I would say for him that, you know, to rest in peace, and I'm definitely gonna remember him always while I'm playing that game, so, you know, I'm just saying it was really nice. I mean, I'd say it, it, it's really, it was really poetic that it was released on, on his birthday, you know? Even though technically I didn't really see much of his gameplay of Tears of the King, of, of Breath of the Wild, but um, I think he, he did play, like, plenty of it, but he, he had to focus on, like, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, you know, so... 
And to be fair, out of all the games to play, I, I'm glad he focused on, on like, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, because, you know, uh, that game was monumental. I mean, I love I love Breath of the Wild, but in terms of, like, story, it was like watching an anime, you know, and, like, seeing his reactions and stuff. He's very, like, a deep fan of the Xenoblade series, so, you know, I could say about that. Yeah, so for some of you guys, maybe, like, I haven't actually bothered to search him. Maybe I think I should look up his gameplay or his Let's Play of Breath of the Wild, actually. I didn't really, I have never done that, but I think he has played it, but... Or maybe not, I don't know. But I'll definitely check that out, maybe once I get back home, since I'm curious, you know? Hopefully I don't get any spoilers of Tears of the Kingdom. I'm definitely gonna put Breath of the Wild, so I don't think so. Anyway. Mm, excuse me. Uh, so yeah, uh, so I'll definitely play Tears of the Kingdom. I guess I'll maybe say my final thoughts of that game before playing. I guess one thing I'd like to mention, uh, one enemy that I'd like them to put in Tears of the Kingdom, I don't think they will, but you guys remember the uh, Dark Nuts? It's those night guys that you fight, like, you know, uh, yeah, get one-ups from that. I just tomorrow, don't be absolutely hanging there. <laughs> wow, it's like, why is she giving me 20? I remember before it was 5. Is it a lot harder playing as Luigi? Is that it? Jesus. Hi there, Luigi. Our buddies in the garage want to tell you something. Oh, really? Okay. Uh. Oh, where is it? Oh, shit. Okay, let's see. Uh, there's Captain Toad. We finished building the Star sh Shroom Starship. We'll use it to search for power stars. And we, the members of the Toad Brigade, will be the brave crew. And this brigade needs a bold leader, so I nominate, um, well, me. Under my command, the galaxies will see the bravery of the Toad Brigade. Okay. So he basically just tells you that you'll now be seeing him around some levels and stuff, that kind of thing. Yeah, can't wait. Uh, there's a Hungry Luma, I guess I'll do that later. Right now, I'm just, you know, just doing this. Anyway, so yeah, so I guess I want to I wanna see them... I want to fight some Dark Nuts in Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know if they ever placed them in, but you guys remember some of the Dark Nuts? I mean, I guess, some, like, there were a few of them. Obviously, there were uh, some of them in uh, the original Legend of Zelda game. I don't know if there were there were any in, like, um, in a Link, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past or Legend of, Legend of Zelda 2. I haven't played those games. I'm not really going to because I'm mainly a fan of the... Uh, 3D Zelda games. I'm not into the uh, old pixelated ones. I know for some of you guys may say, oh, that's like, you should be a fan. Well, to be fair, I'm not even... I played a little bit of uh, Super Mario Bros. And I didn't even finish that game, so I'm not really a fan of that. I almost finished Super Mario Bros. 3, but, well, actually... Hmm. Technically, I played Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario, Bro Super Mario World on the Game Boy. I played the Game Boy Advance version of that game. Um, yeah, the, of those two games. And they never even made a Super Mario Bros. Advance, but then again, how, how, how are you able to do that? Because this game is, that game is so simple, like, you know. So, I, all, all, all I'm just saying, I never even finished Super Mario, Super Mario Bros. Because that game is so hard, by the way, you know. So, technically, uh, you know, I, I haven't, I'm, I haven't, I'm not really going to play Legend of Zelda, the original, and, but I haven't even played, you know, uh, you know, I haven't even played and finished Super Mario Bros. So, oh wait, actually, technically, I, I have, I have played a little bit of uh, Su Legend of Zelda. I forgot, I played it on the, I got it from the Wii Shop, and I played a little bit on the on the Wii system. So yeah, I have, I have played a little bit of uh, of Legend of Zelda, but uh, I didn't really finish the game because that game is really hard. You gotta literally, you know, you know, like explore and stuff so I haven't I haven't really like I have played it but I didn't finish it so same thing for like Super Mario Bros you know in a, in a way there we go all right obviously everything stopped it's good there we go all right so yeah so I was talking about darkness. So I mainly, I ba mainly faced them in, uh, as you guys know, from uh, Twilight Princess, and there are also some of them in in Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker. There was none of them in uh, Scoured Sword, and also none of them, in, unfortunately, in Breath of the Wild. So 
I'm hoping they would include them in Tears of the Kingdom. They maybe can face a one of those dark nuts, and like you can. The reason why I love these guys because they're the only ones that could do like sword combat. So I'm hoping that you could fight these enemies like with proper sword combat. I mean, I'm worried that even some of the Bacoblins like can do, use swords and stuff, and even Moblins use swords and everything as weapons. But I feel like dark nuts do it so efficiently that we have discovered an enemy base in the region. Like, that would be a, such a fun battle against them. We can only hope that they're not seizing the power of that poor Grand Star. So that's what I'm hoping. I mean, of course, in Breath of the Wild, you, you faced off against, uh... What are those guys called? You know, those guys that are like... What, what, I'm trying to remember their names, uh... Fuck, I forgot. Oh, li Lionels. I think that's what they're called, Lionels? Or, you know, those those centaur-looking guys. Yeah, I, because I remember Lionels were in the original Legend of Zelda game, so I'm glad they kind of put that in Tears of the Kingdom. A new enemy, by the way. Well, not new enemy, it's an old enemy that they revamped it. They were, like, one of the toughest monsters in, in Legend of Zelda, so I'm hoping they could add some, like, dark some dark nuts in, in, in Tears of the Kingdom. So that's what I'm hoping. Like, that one enemy that I want to see fight, I, I, I hope they could do that. Okay. We're just gonna do that. We still have time. Yeah, let me see. I think we do. Yeah, 644. This boss doesn't really take that long, so I guess we could do it. Mega Legs Moon. Hopefully my uncle doesn't show up, like, early. I mean, so, like I said, 645, so I hope he comes back at 7. Because if he doesn't, then fuck, he's gonna see that microphone and I'm screwed. But either way, like I said, I'll fucking tell them that I, I make I record videos, but I don't I don't like post them on YouTube. I just say I record them. He's just gonna he would then know that I, I keep those video recordings and stuff on my laptop. Okay, I have to, oh wait, hang on, we gotta kill these guys. Okay, there we go. I find it weird how you see these go these Goomba-like creatures, and I say Goomba-like because they're technically because they have those glowing eyes. So they're they're like they're like not Goombas, but they're s different creatures. But they are technically Goombas with helmets. But I'm just saying, like, it just looks so freaky. You know how they look. You know, leave in the comments if they are Goombas and they just add the glowing eyes just as an effect or something. I don't know, or they're different creatures. I don't know. Yeah. Do I want to read it again? Yeah, why not? It's not gonna take too long. <laughs> Waha, well, you made it. But I won't let even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go ahead, Omega Leg. Stomp him with the power of your Grand Star. There we go. And I read it before, that's why, but I figure, fuck it, why not? Oh, you see that star bit? <laughs> it just froze because it didn't collect all of those in the shot. But it's okay. Yeah. Anyway, oh shit, that was close. Anyway. There we go. Uh, Luigi jumps so high, I, th I really think he does jump high because, you know, he was able to go through those gears no problem. Uh, this part I know is gonna take some time because we gotta, we gotta like you know. Okay, hang on. Okay. I really believe we're gonna have to like get some bullet bills to. Oh shit, not on the eye part. Oh damn. Okay. Yeah, I know I could have just. Oh, here, here we go. Oh fuck. Oh! This is just. Did it. Got it. There we go. Yeah, he's not so hard. But like I said, it's been a long time since I faced this boss. So there you go. Anyway, so anyway, um... Alright, we'll just grab the Power Star and there we go.
<laughs> I just want to hear the sounds you make when he like plays around with the grand store. I'm sorry. It's just I was curious because I always hear Mario and I wanted to hear Luigi. Just curious, you know? Anyway, what time? 6.48. I'll probably wrap this up, I guess. flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored and the beacon will grow. The comet observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all the power is restored, we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. Oh, the power is on a, is on in a new dome. Yeah, so it just tells you that uh, the only open dome is called called the fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I remember when I was trying to figure out which do which area do I, does need, do I need to go for Power Star, and I usually just go to the domes and explore instead of just fucking doing, calling him to make it more convenient. Remember that, guys? Yeah. I apologize, but hey, it allowed me to like keep on talking while I like search and stuff. So technically, it was like a little excuse to like, you know, as some way for me to keep on talking without doing a level, you know. Anyway, um, what else? So yeah, so that's what I'm hoping in Tears of the King. That's what I forgot to mention. I don't know if I mentioned plenty, but all in all, I've, I've been hearing a lot of YouTubers while well, I didn't, I didn't hear but from looking at the thumbnails and what they say about the videos they title it. I didn't he see any spoilers, but they they're always saying oh how how great how fucking fantastic this game is. So they're even saying it's better than the first one. So yeah, honestly, all in all, no, I, I could definitely say that this game is definitely something special. Uh, shit, do I even have time? Ah, oh, fuck! If I can do one level, maybe I can do one level. I don't know. Six fifty. Fuck, I'm risking it, guys. I can just simply stop and, like, not finish it, because technically I already finished it, so I don't need to, like, fucking, like, go through it, but I'm just gonna keep on going just so I can talk more, you know? Um. Yeah. So, um, like, you know, that's what, that's what I'm saying, and, uh, about Tears of the Kingdom. I, I know it's gonna be great, but I'm just wondering what to see. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention one more thing. Uh, what I'm hoping for Tears of the Kingdom how badass would it be if they could, when you get to Gandorf, they could recreate, like, how it was in the N64 version? Like, honestly, like, Hyrule Castle was technically Gandorf's castle, was the final level, and it's the only, it's the place where you go for, um, for the, uh, final level, you know, like, you know, Gan you know, at Hyrule Castle in Breath of the Wild, where you basically explore you know, the, the ruined castle and all the chambers and stuff, that was so badass, but even though technically that was like Gandorf's castle, but it's, it's the same thing for uh, uh, Twilight Princess, where you go to Hyrule Castle as well as it, as it is in its full state, but you don't go into any of the rooms or chambers, like like Zelda's room or the King's Chamber or something, unlike you do in uh, Breath of the Wild, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but either way, yeah, two times you go to Hyrule Castle to fight against Ganon. That was technically his castle that he took over. And the only times where you get to Ganon's castle was in Ocarina of Time and uh, in, in Wind Waker. Although Wind Waker was a lot more simplistic, uh, you only get it's only just one big tower. Well, technically in Ocarina of Time it was also one big tower, but uh, in 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 Wind Waker, it felt more like just one big tower compared to Ganon's uh, giant fortress tower in in Ocarina of Time. So I'm hoping maybe you could go to a castle like that in um, in Tears of the Kingdom. But and if not, you go inside the castle and it's all like you go do a few levels or chambers, and then you finally get to like Ganon's chamber. Remember in Ocarina of Time where you hear the faint organ music from like when you're getting close to them and then it gets louder and louder and louder as you get close. I'm hoping you do something similar to that in, in Tears of the Kingdom and then once you get to him, you see him and he's actually playing the organ and stuff. I, ho I really hope they do that again. 
and this time you get to maybe like see his fingers like playing the keys and stuff like kind of properly and everything like unlike say in, in the N64 version where you just see his hands like just like tapping the keyboard and stuff. I hope they do it in full detail and in sync with the music. I mean, they don't have to technically, but it would be pretty cool if they do. Um, so that's what I'm hoping, like, just do the same thing that they've done in Ocarina of Time. And technically they can do that because, like, why not? You know, it's like, like, a, over, you know, years since uh, the 1998 release of, um, of, o of Ocarina of Time. Anyway, if you guys will hang out in just a sec, I'm just gonna check. Okay. I was I didn't hear anything, but I thought maybe my uncle's here, so I was just trying to make sure where did my glasses go? <laughs> this fine. Uh that thanks a bunch. Let's hear what the toast say. Captain, how how could you? Oh they like you left them or something? I don't know. Anyway, I was just checking to see if my uncle was here. I didn't hear anything, but I was just trying to make sure, you know. Da 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 da, Mr. Luigi, as the brave captain of the Toad Brigade, have already discovered a shortcut to the Power Star. Take the Sling Star at the top of the Star Tree. Okay, hang on, just checking one more time. Okay, I don't see his car, so I'm good. Yeah. Luckily, I could I could see. I mean, technically, where I'm positioned, I can't I, ha I can't really see the window. I have to walk a few steps toward it in order to, because I'm in the living room and. I'm just a few steps away from the kitchen window, which faces the uh, the the front part of the of the house and the road. So you know that's technically where I'm located, you know. But anyway, I just wanted to just check, make sure. I'm st I still have time. I'm still good. Anyway, so that's what I'm hoping that they just recreate the 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 climatic scene where Link gets to face Ganon. Maybe he also has has Zelda captured in the same room as well. I don't know, and like. Then, like, you see the, the Triforce, like, just resonate and stuff. Just recreate the same exact thing that happened in the Ocarina. Because why the fuck not? It's, it's like, it was iconic back in 1998, like, when, when the game came out. And it'd be so fucking nostalgic for everyone. I mean, technically, when did I, when did I play Ocarina of Time? I played it sometime in high school, so it was either sometime, uh, when was that? I think it was sometime in 2011. I, I do remember playing that game when I was in high school, and it was definitely, I do remember it was sometime far later after my, uh, you know, I remember when I was, when I, when I, when I loved the, the movie, uh, Alpha and Omega, and, and, like, it was a thing that I was, like, very much into back in late 2010, because the, the movie came out in September. Uh, I remember it was way after that Alpha and Omega phase, so I think I probably played Ocarina of Time sometime in 2011 or 2012, I don't know. It's definitely before the Wii U though, so, uh, yeah, definitely before the Wii U, so... I I'm assuming sometime in 2011. Sometime in 2011? I mean, 2011 I also played, uh, uh Half-Life 2. I, I really don't remember, so sometime in 2011 or 2012, I would say. Maybe sometime in 2011, because I really don't remember, like, me being into My Little Pony back then when I played that game, so it could have been 2011, I'm assuming. Yeah, could have been that time. I don't know exactly, but I do remember it was sometime in high school. But definitely before 2014, 2013. Definitely, I could say for positive. Or it could be 2013. Right? So yeah, I know, I'm fucking up my memory. I'm so sorry, guys. I really don't remember when exactly I played it, unfortunately. I do remember it was in high school, but okay, listen. What I'm trying to say is that even after I finished Twilight Princess and I played Ocarina of Time, I still loved that scene where you get to Ganondorf, you know? And I wonder, did I... Oh, no, 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 I, I, I kept that a surprise. Actually, I didn't know what, what the introduction to Ganon was like back then. I literally kept that a surprise for myself. So technically, I only I only knew about the final battle when you face his, uh, his monstrous um, pig form, but I didn't know about his battle when you fight him in his Gerudo form. Technically I was a little bit spoiled by what the fight was like from the commercial when... Oh, okay! Okay, yeah, now I remember, okay, I definitely remember playing that game, Ocarina of Time, sometime when, uh, Ocarina of Time was released on the 3DS. Okay, so when that date when that game was released, because I remember seeing the commercial of Ocarina of Time, okay, so I remember now the exact date is sometime when Ocarina of Time was released. So yeah, so that game when it was released on the 3DS, that was when I played Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and I played it because it was on the 3DS and like, 
It's also after, uh, like, I finished Twilight Princess, I want to play more Zelda, so technically I played the N64 version, so yeah, that, that was basically when I played it, and I... I was kind of spoiled from what the Gerudo fight was like from the commercial, because, like, it showed, like, Link, like, hitting that energy ball against Ganondorf, so technically then I was like, oh, okay, that's what was the first fight I was like. I didn't know about you have to shoot a light arrow to him, though, so that was something I didn't know, but either way, um, yeah... That was, uh, okay, now it's about to be seven. So that was, like, my first exposure to what the boss battle was like on this part, and I hope they do something similar with, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Like, you get to Ganon's throne room, you see him playing the organ, and then you fight him. He says a few words, he's like, speaks, he now can speak and everything, so you get to hear him talk to you and stuff, and then you fight him. I hope you just fight him, like, sword combat. That's what I'm hoping. I hope the final battle with Gandorf you fight him sword combat, and maybe fight him in his monsters for him. Maybe he goes into his bipedal Gerudo form that you faced him in the N64 version. They could do that, you know? I don't know, something similar. Maybe they would be in the same pig form, but even more ginormous compared to the uh, Breath of the Wild. Or they're probably just you just do sword fighting against him, which I'm fine with. I'm down with fighting him sword fighting. That's what I'm hoping. Like the Something similar to how you fought him in Twilight Princess, because that was the closest thing you got to sword fighting. Now, technically, it was a great sword fight, but hoping this one would be more extreme, more varied, you know what I'm saying? With badass, like, music. <laughs> oh, man. I really can't wait. But you know what? I guess that's about it. That's my, probably my final thoughts with Tears of the Kingdom. I have seen a few uh, trailers and stuff of it, but that's about it. So yeah, I could say look forward to more gameplay. I'm, I'll talk more about various topics, especially in regards to politics in my SL in my SLG parts. But as you guys know, I'm gonna be focusing more on uh, Princess of Angels, so that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway, uh, it's good. It's great to be back in Florida. Hopefully, nothing unfortunate happens because I'm back in this dreaded state. I would say, not in fucking Ro in, in Rhode Island. I consider a far better state than this, but hey. It's where my parents live, so I have to, I have to live with that. So yeah, I'll look forward to more Princess of Angel videos, I would say. And also SLG parts, and yeah, I would just say, look forward to more gameplay videos, videos as usual. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you, see you guys in the, in the next gameplay series of Princess of Angel. Alright, bye everyone.